Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Jeanette from Body Sewing and Crafts. This video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you where the needle position in the Brother SC1900 goes when you first turn on your machine and how to move it from the left to right and even the center of your presser foot. Um, I do have a viewer out there that is having a little trouble with the positioning of her needle. So I am hoping that this video will help to assist in trying to um, get her where she needs to be. But I figured at the same time, while I'm trying to help her, I can probably use this video to help other people as well. So um, as you guys know, this is the Brother SC1900. Love this machine. I have been using this machine now for about going on, I, I say around four years. Um, they do have a newer version, which is the SC1500. Uh, I mean, I'm uh, SC1950, sorry, the SC1950, and the only difference between the, the this version and the one that is um, 1950 is really the speed when you're in bordering, okay? The um, 1950 goes 850 stitches per minute. The SC1900 goes um, about 650, I believe, stitches per minute. Um, forgot the number and stuff, but you know, it's the difference in the speed of the stitching. Okay, so now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to talk to you guys about the sewing factor of the machine, all right, and the needle positioning of when you first started. So I'm going to set the camera up, and I'm also going to be doing a little bit of close ups so that you guys can see exactly what is going on, all right. Um, so what I'm going to do, and I'm just going to do this right now. I want you guys to pay attention right here. The machine is completely off. Have not turned it on yet. Right here, I have my needle, and right here, I have my pressure foot. Um, this is the standard one, okay, that, you know, that I, I have on. I don't have a zipper foot or anything. This is the foot J, okay, and you know what foot it is if you open up the case and you look inside, all right? So I'm going to move this in so that way you can see and as you can see right here, it has the letters, like here's K and here's J. So this is the standard one, and this is the I, which is your zipper foot and all the others that come with the machine, okay? So it's the letter J that I have on here, okay, on my machine right here. And what I'm going to do is, as you can see, the machine is off. Now, one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to focus the camera on the actual needle. And the reason why I want to do this is because I want you to actually look at the movement of the needle and where it goes, all right? So I'm going to try to zoom. And then I'm going to tell you when I'm going to turn on the, the machine, all right? Now, as you can see right now, when with the machine off, my needle seems to be right in the middle of the pressure foot. Okay, here's my needle, and it's right smack in the middle. When I turn it on, I believe it goes a little bit to the left of my needle. But let's see what happens, okay? I am turning it on, okay? And then when you turn it on, you're going to get the screen. And then what you do is you just touch the screen with your finger, and that will activate the machine, okay? Okay. But when I do that, you're going to hear the noise, and it's going to change the needle position a little bit. So let me lower this a little here, and I want to put it on here. And as um, you are looking at the machine, and we're looking at it straight, I want you to, here we go. All right, I'm going to touch the, out the, the screen. And see how it did? It, it moved all the way to the right, and then it went to the left. So as you can see, it is no longer in the medium, okay? It is to the left of my pressure foot, which is like right here, okay? All right, this is where my needle went, okay? And so now let's say that I want to move this to the middle position of my pressure foot, okay? So... Right here, and I'm going to scroll back over here, and I'm going to set this here. Now, right here, you have some stitches, right? You got stitch one, you got two, three, and four, okay? So let's play around with these stitches so that we can see what happens when I hit these um, 
these stitches. So I'm gonna move this back a little bit and I know it's gonna be a little difficult for you to see, but right here is where my needle is and this is where the stitches are. So I'm going to click on this and I don't think it's gonna move anywhere and it doesn't because as you can see, the design is a little bit the same, okay? Now if I hit stitch three, it does move, okay? My stitch 03 put it right smack in the middle where it was before. And I'm going to show you the needle, okay? And I'm gonna tell you exactly what I am pressing, okay? Right now I am pressing stitch, I'm going to right now press stitch one dash zero one. When I click that, you saw that the needle position moved over to the left side, right? Okay, now I'm going to press 1-03, and as you can see, it moved over and it went right smack in the middle, okay? Now there is another one that says 1-04, and it doesn't, um, it did not move the position, okay? Now, I am sure that there is a difference between these two stitches. And I want I want you to take a look at these stitches right here. Um, we're gonna go down here because a lot of people are getting confused with this, okay? And I wanna, I'm trying to uh, move the camera so that you guys can see exactly, all right? Now, I want you guys to see something right here, okay? Now we're looking at these stitches. Now, if you notice, these two stitches are the ones that go all the way to the left of the pressure foot. This is the one that goes in the middle and this goes in the middle as well. Now what this does is it just does three stitches in one spot at the same. But there is a difference between these two, okay? As you can see, it says two stitches, okay? It has right here, if you look on here, okay? Two stitches and then it keeps going straight. All this does is it just goes straight. There is no enforcement stitch on here, okay? You know, on the, the 2-0, okay? That's what that dot is. All right, guys, I had to stop the camera for a little bit because I wanted to play around with these two stitches to make sure that I'm telling you correctly. I wanna show you what I actually found, okay? And I'm gonna do this again so that you guys can see, okay? Let's go over to this stitch and let's sew this and let's see what we come up with, okay? Let's do this together so we can find out, all right? Because I might be a little wrong, but I wanna see how this works. All right, so as you can see, I selected 1.10 and it has like a double line here and then it has the stitches, okay? And I think what that means is that the, the thread will be on the top in the beginning, I'm not sure. So let's just see uh, let's, what this stitch does, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to start to sew. And then I'm gonna stop. And then I'm going to look, and as you can see, yes, the my thread is on top, okay? You can see that, right? All right, so now let's go over here and, you know, I'm always learning something new. I had this machine for four years and I'm still learning. Okay, so here is stitch 1-02. And as you can see, there's a difference between those two. You have two lines here, okay, which probably means there's two stitches on the top. And I kind of see that right here because this is on top, okay? And then you're going to have the other stitches down. So it looks like there's a stitch on top and then the other is down. This one's like a dot, Okay, if you see that, it has a dot, and then it's like a line going down. Let's take a look and let's see what happens when I select that one. Okay, so I'm going to do it right next to it. This is kind of fun, you know, learning the stitches and stuff. Sometimes I just go ahead and sew and I don't really pay attention. So I'm going to start stitching. And let me stop. And there you go. Yes, look what happened. You don't see a stitch on top of the garment in the beginning. Here you do, okay? And of course, I would go ahead and snip this. So I am really glad that I looked into this because a lot of times, sometimes I am sewing and I have to just snip this. So if I just go ahead and I select this stitch, 
then this means that the stitch, when it starts to sew, okay, it stays on the back of the fabric and it doesn't go to the front. That's pretty neat, right? All right, so let's take a look at number three, okay? Um, point three, point zero three, as you can see, it has the two little lines on the top right here. And then it has all the stitches coming down, right? Okay, you see that? Now, when I click this, what happens is the needle moves from the left and it goes over to the middle, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select this, okay? And as you can see, the needle has been repositioned, okay? I'm gonna move it from, see, that's the old one. That's where I had it before, okay? And I'm going to uh, one one dash zero three. There you go. Now it's right smack in the middle. Now what's going to happen is this has the double stitch up here and then it has the stitches down. My guess is that you're going to see the thread on top of the fabric and it's going to keep going. So let's take a look at that and let's see how that happens, okay? Or if it happens. Because I think I told you guys wrong and I'm going to leave in the video because I'm learning with you guys. So... Let me stop and yes see how the the thread is on top of the fabric okay now I'm gonna go over to this machine and I'm going to click here on point zero four so now let's let's play around and let's see what happens I'm going to do it right here in the middle okay I'm gonna put this down I'm gonna start sewing let's cut that thread let's take a look at it and as you can see there is no thread popping on the top okay and just for fun let's go over to stitch number 1.05 okay now that is in like enforcement it's like double stitching and stuff like that let's see how that stitches out and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it this way so that we can take a look and you're gonna see how this works, okay? And I'm gonna stop it. Look how thick. It, it went over each stitch three times. Now there is something that I want you to notice it. Notice how the thread comes out on the top, okay? And even though I have it on 1.05, the needle moved, okay? It moved to the left. So it looks like the default position is to the left, right here of the sewing foot. This is the default position. If you want the needle to go right smack in the middle, you would have to hit number 1.1-03, right here. And then right here, that goes right smack in the middle, okay? But when I hit the 1.05, okay which is the 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 thick stitch that i just did that i'm gonna hit that button now and i want you to look at the needle watch the needle right now it's it's in the middle see it moved over to the to the left okay so guys i really hope that you guys uh, like this video and found it helpful this was pretty fun to explore the first um five types of stitches that are one through five. I mean, these are really cool. Now we know exactly what it is when you see these double lines, okay, um, versus the one dot right here, okay? Now you know. It's just that when you see those double lines, you're gonna have the stitch coming out on the top of the fabric, and when you just see that dot, the stitch is going to just come out clean like this, okay? pretty cool okay so i think that is pretty neat hope this helps guys if you like this video please give me a thumbs up i'm all about um embroidery and sewing and stuff like that and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing and i also host embroidery happy hour every friday at eight o'clock eastern standard time 
So hope you can join me on Fridays. So you guys have a great time. Enjoy your SC1900s. These are really, really great machines. I highly recommend them. They're great machines. They really are. They're a little pricey. You know, they are. They run about $1,000. But to be honest, you get a lot for that money. I've had this machine now for four years, and I really do love it. And I use it often. It's a really good machine. So hope you guys have a great day, and thanks for watching. Bye.